Good day, listeners and students. I am Mr. Kamal Jain Abiyono, a mathematics tutor. We shall continue our trigonometry series, and our objectives for today's class are as follows. Students will be able to, one, locate places or points using the compass bearing, two, solve simple bearing problems using the concept of trigonometry. Let's recall the basic cardinal points that we have. We have the north, the south, the west, and the east, as shown in the diagram. But please note, the angles in compass bearing are described in reference to either the north or the south. And when you are in the north or south, there are two options. Either you move to the west side or you move to the east side. So let's illustrate this with some examples. Question 1. The bearing of Wale from Shegun is 30 degrees east of north. Take note here. I've written it as N 30 degrees east, but I'm pronouncing it as 30 degrees east of north. So the question is, what is the bearing of Shegun from Wale? Solution. So the first thing is the reference. The reference here is Shegu from what we have learned earlier. So use a point to represent Shegu anywhere in your notes. So the next thing is draw the four cardinal points on Shegu and measure 30 degrees east of north. That is, you start from the north and measure 30 degrees towards the east. So, the next is, draw the line based on the angle, based on the angle you measure. Anywhere on that line, it means you draw a line from, uh, from Shegu, based on the angle you measure. So, anywhere on that line, you have Wally. Draw the four cardinal points on Wiley. Now the question is, what is the bearing of Shegun from Wiley? To do that, the first thing, the reference is now Wiley. So go to Wiley and examine where the line going to Shegun is. You will see that it is between the south and west. So the next is evaluate the angle that the line makes with the south based on alternate angles or z angle we can see that the line makes angle 30 degree to the south hence we say that the angle the bearing of shegun from wale is 30 degrees west of south that is s 30 degrees west the bearing of Shegu from Wale is 30 degrees west of south. The second question, the bearing of Abdullah from David is 40 degrees west of north. What is the bearing of David from Abdullah? The same process is what you follow. The first thing is the reference. The reference here is David. So use a point to represent David anywhere in your notes. Then draw the four cardinal points on david and measure 40 degrees west of north that is start from the north and measure 40 degrees towards the west the next is draw the line from david based on the angle you measure that is 40 degrees so anywhere on that line you have Abdullah. 
draw the four cardinal points on Abdullah as well. Now the question is, what is the bearing of David from Abdullah? To do that, the first thing you do is, the reference is now Abdullah. So go to Abdullah and examine where the line going to David is. You will see that it is between the south and the east. Then evaluate the angle that the line makes with the south. So based on our Z angle, we can see that the line makes angle what? 40 degrees to the south. Hence, we say that the bearing of David from Abdullah is 40 degrees east of south. That is 40 degrees east of south. So let's quickly take this question before I uh, come back for the next segment. The bearing of Ungozi from Adamu is 25 degrees east of south. What is the bearing of Adamu from Ungozi? So you can go through that. Thank you very much. You are welcome back to the second segment. I have more questions here to have a deeper understanding on being. Question 1. Esther was facing 20 degrees west of south. She turned 90 degrees in the, clock, in the clockwise direction. What direction is she facing? Solution. The reference is Esther. So, Use a point to represent Esther. Draw the four cardinal points on Esther and measure 20 degrees west of south. That is, start from the south and measure 20 degrees towards the west. So, draw a line from Esther based on the angle measured, that's 20 degrees west of south. The next statement says, she turned 90 degrees in the clockwise direction. Illustrating that, you will see that she will turn past the west and be moving towards the north. You will observe that from our present position, moving 70 degrees, we make her to be exactly in the west. So, moving a further 20 degrees from the west, we make her, we make her turning to be exactly 90 degrees. By then, we can let the angle she now makes with the knot be x. So we have 20 degrees plus 90 degrees plus x equals 180 degree because they are sum of angles in a triangle. So solving for x there, we have x equals to 70 degrees. So hence the direction she is facing is 70 degrees west of north. Second question. Given that y is 20 meters on a bearing of 300 degrees from x, how far south of y is x? Solution. For the first statement, given that y is 20 meters on, on a bearing of 300 degrees from x, the reference is x. So, use a point to represent x. Draw the four cardinal points on x and measure 300 degrees from the north. That is a uh, TV digit bearing. It will be immediately after the west. That is additional 30 degrees after the west. So, draw a line from X based on the angle 300 degrees you measured. 
and measure a distance of 20 meters on that line to locate y now the question is how far south of y is x that means you find the distance from y down that is south up to the level of x so let the distance be h with that you will see that we have got a right angle triangle the extra angle 30 degrees that is from 300 minus 270 is the given angle the hypotenuse is 20 meters and the opposite is h so you can you can see the diagram there so from trig ratios using that diagram we'll see that we have so katoa we have been given we are looking for opposite and uh, the one for opposite and the hypotenuse is uh, the so the one for opposite and hypotenuse is soh so that is sine hence we say that sine 30 degrees equals to h over 20 and h is 20 sine 30 degrees and that will give us h equals to 10 meters so therefore we say that s is 10 meters south of y so uh before we go to the next uh, let's take the third question and we'll look at that in the next segment says so the bearing of q from p is 150 degrees and the bearing of r from p is 0, 060 0 degrees if q and r are 24 kilometer and 32 kilometer respectively from p represent one represent the information in a diagram two calculate the distance between q and r and TV, find the bearing of R from Q correct to the nearest degree. So in the next segment, we shall solve the question. Thank you very much. You are welcome back to the third segment of today's uh, class. From the, the question I posted earlier, let's deal with the question statement by statement. The first statement there says the bearing of Q from P is 150 degrees. So it means that the reference is P. So use a point to represent P. The next is what? Make the four cardinal points on P and measure angle 150 degrees from the north in a clockwise direction so if you do that we we'll see that our angle will be between the east and what the south so draw a line based on the 150 degree measured and put q anywhere on the line so that's first statement for the second statement since the bearing of R from P is 0, 060 0 degrees. So here the reference is still P. So measure angle 60 degrees from the north of P. Then draw a line based on angle 60 degree measured. Put R on the line and make the four cardinal points on R. For the next statement, if Q and R are 24 km and 32 km respectively from P, so it implies that PQ, line PQ is 24 km and PR is what, 32 km. So from there, we can make some deduction. We observe that at P, the angle between the north and the line going to R is 60 degrees. And the angle between the north and the line going to Q as same P is what uh, is 150 degrees. So meaning that the angle between the line going to R and the line going to Q, which is known as angle RPQ, is 150 degrees minus 60 degrees. And that will give us 90 degrees. Illustrating all that in the diagram, we have a solution to Roman figure 1. For Roman figure 2, question says calculate the distance between Q and R. So from the diagram, we have a triangle. 
So in the triangle, the angle has been calculated as 90 degrees. We are given two sides. Since the angle given is the included angle, that is the angle between the two given sides. So we can use cosine rule. Or we use Pythagoras theorem because the angle has been calculated to be 90 degrees. That's a special angle. But we are going to use cosine rule here because it is general one. Although Pythagoras theorem is still applicable. So naming the sides. The side that is opposite to big P, angle P, is called small P. And that of Q is called small Q. Likewise, half, small half. Using the cosine rule, we have P squared equals 24 squared plus 32 squared minus 2 times 24 times 32 cos 90. But cos 90 is equal to 0. So everything on the uh, left hand side, on the right hand side, will be equal to 0 on the, towards the end. So it means we have P squared equals to 576 plus 1024. And P squared equals 1600. So P will be equals to 40 kilometers if you find the square root of that. So it means that the distance between Q and R is 40 kilometers. Next question says, find the bearing of R from Q. There we have that Q is what is the reference. So go to angle Q, go to Q and measure the angle. From the north of Q in a clockwise manner up to the line going to R. You will see that the required angle is inside Q. Hence, Line PQ, we also see that line PQ makes equal angle with the south of Q, with the south of P, and the north of Q. So we can see that it makes 30 degrees with the south of P. By saying 180 minus that 150 there, we get that 30. Hence, line PQ makes angle 30 degrees with the north of Q. So the remaining angle in Q is the required bearing. Represent it with theta. So using our sine rule to solve that, we have 32 over sine Q equals 40 over sine 90. If you cross multiply there, we have sine Q to give us 0 0.8 and Q equals arc sine of 0 0.8. So Q is 53.13 degree. But Q has two angles inside it, 30 and theta we are looking for. So if you add them, 30 plus theta will give us 53.1 TV. Theta is 23.1 TV. Hence, we say that the bearing of R from Q is 23 degrees to the nearest diagram, to the nearest O number. 23 degrees to the nearest O number. So let's take assignment before I go. Go to YX 2011 objective question 12. And the same 2011 object theory question 10b. Thank you very much.